What's up everyone, this is Mini coming at you with another video in the How I Build It series. Today I'll be reviewing the Tier 9 Premium Pan Asian Cruiser, the Dalian, and talking about how I built this out to play it. But before we get into that, a couple of things. First off, as a community contributor for Wargaming, they have given me this ship for free, so you need to be aware of that. Additionally, don't forget to like the video and especially make sure to hit that subscribe button. About 70% of the people watching my videos over the last month have not been subscribed to my channel and it really helps me keep making great content. Now, on to this ship. The Dalian will release on February 3rd, 2022 for purchase in World of Warships. Some places it'll be February 4th, depending on where you are located in the world, but you will be able to purchase this in the Armory for 19,300 doubloons. Boasting similar stats to the Tech Tree ships with a couple key differences, this ship I have found to be enjoyable, though it definitely requires a high skill level to play well. But let's talk about how you should build this out. So the first thing I wanna talk about today is actually Captain Skills. There are two ways you can build out this captain. I'm gonna show you both of them. The first way is very similar to the Wargaming recommended build. I actually really like this. I take Grease the Gears because I need the traverse speed, and then you run Demo Expert along with Heavy HE and Sap Shells, Consumables Enhancement for the smoke benefit, Adrenaline Rush along with Superintendent for the additional smoke and heal, Survivability Expert because without Survivability Expert you're sitting at under 30,000 health as a tier 9 cruiser and you will get wrecked, and then Concealment Expert which along with modules gets you down to an 8.9 kilometer concealment. Now. Very similar to Wargaming's build, as you can see, if you're going to play this style, your style is you're going to wait, make sure you have spotting, smoke up, and then just spam HE shells down onto the enemy ships. With this build, you're getting a 10% chance of causing a fire on the target, along with 1980 maximum damage per shell, and you're firing 4.8 second reload times. This makes it really nice, even though you only have a 13.5 kilometer re range you can do a lot of damage and you can get some really significant damage over time with this comboed with the fact that you have the 10 kilometer torps now the downside to this build is the fact that you'll notice your armor penetration capacity is only 22 millimeters which leads me to the second build that I've experimented with and that I have sometimes used. Second build has similarities to the first. I start with Grease the Gears, still take the Consumable Enhancements, take the Heavy HE and Sap, take the Adrenaline Rush, and take the Concealment Expert. But where I change it is then I throw IFHE on this. The reason I throw IFHE on this is you will notice that our armor pen capacity has now gone up to 27 millimeters, meaning that I can pen many tier 8 through 10 cruisers bows and sterns which will enable me to get more damage on enemy ships this will give me that higher damage chance which will help out tremendously because of being able to get less non-pens the downside to this build is that your fire chance with flags has gone down to five percent is it a worthwhile trade-off for that portion? That's up to you to decide. I can't make that call for you on which way you're going to like to play it. I recommend taking some time, trying it out before you get IFHE with the 10 or 14 point captain, seeing if you like it, and then if you're saying, you know, I'm not liking how many non-pens I get, go to IFHE. Or if you're saying, you know, the fire damage is great, keep it this way. With your remaining four points, I like to throw last stand on. You could also consider swift fish for the speed, but I like last stand to make sure that this thing, which can get its engine and steering gears incapacitated fairly quickly, has a ability to still maneuver with that having happened so you're not wasting DCPs. With your final three points, my recommendation is either Superintendent or Survivability Expert. Survivability Expert, of course, gets you over that 30,000 health mark. Superintendent allows you, especially because you are weaker if you don't take Survivability Expert, to have that extra smoke and that extra heal. Choice at the end of the day is yours. It depends on your play style. Next up, let's talk about the equipment I'm running on the Dalian. On the Dalian, in slot one, I'm running main armaments mod one because you want to keep all of your guns going as long as possible. You could argue for the damage control party mod one, but I don't see it as worth more than keeping your stuff from being incapacitated. Slot two, with only two choices, you're going to go for engine room protection here in my opinion. Don't need the lesser chance of catching fire or flooding. You want to make sure that you keep moving because a sitting still Dalian is a dead Dalian. 
Slot 3, if you're not going to go coal mods, you take aiming systems mod 1. If you are going to go coal mods, I highly recommend you take the smoke generator modification. With flags, your smoke already goes to 34.5 seconds pre the 10% buff you get from captain skills, but then you add on another 30% and you're getting that up to a 40, 50 second smoke uh, consumable action time, plus the dispersion time being nice, gives you plenty of time to just sit in your smoke and farm. In slot four, I like to take propulsion mod. You can make an argument for steering gear, but I like propulsion mod to be able to accelerate quicker. Slot five, of course, has to be concealment because you're spotted, you're dead. And then in slot six, because I take grease the gears as a captain skill, main battery modification for the quicker reload time and the worst traverse speed is something I like. You can make a case for taking gunfire control system, get the 16% extra range, which takes you out to about 15 kilometers, but your shells you will find are very, very flighty. So the downside to taking the extra range is are you going to hit anything moving at that extra range besides battleships? Once again, up to you if you think it's worth more than there. I like the reload. I can understand the range choice. Finally, on the exterior, let's talk about Flag's camo. I love the Silk Sunrise camo. I mean, but there's no difference between the D Type 10 and the Silk Sunrise beyond just personal preference. Flags, if you have any special flags that give you bonuses, mount them. And then signals. Tier 9 premium means that it gets the best credit and XP economy in the game. So I run all of my special signals on it to max that out as much as possible. For flags, you're going to be looking at taking India X-Ray, Juliet Whiskey, and Victor Lima up here because you want to get that fire chance up regardless of whether or not you have IFHE. I also like to take November Foxtrot to get the consumables back quicker because that 5% boost on your smoke is nice, along with the extra speed and getting as much of a heal as you can off. Finally, I like to take Juliet Charlie to consider for detonation if I was playing this in a clan battles or a competitive situation. And I really think X-Ray Papa has to be taken because of the smoke generator consumable action time. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's my build for the Dalian. Hope this helps you. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like. And like I said, make sure to hit that subscribe button to help me keep making great content. As always, this is Mini, signing off.